We have a 2011 Toyota Tundra with the 5.7 V8 um, alternator went out. So, not your old Chevy sitting on top, couple bolts, couple wires, you're done, belt tensioner. Um, just so you know, before you get into this job, this is what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to pull, pull a wheel off, nothing up top, everything from the bottom. Pull a wheel off, pull that cover off. You'll need um, like a trim tool. You'll pull these out. This will come off with this piece. You'll need 12s, 14s, a 10, um, a 17, a short 14, long 14. These are the two bolts, long, short, and a stud that's in there. Um, I use a long half inch extension to get those these two out. So. I'll show you where it's at from underneath. You pull your belly panel underneath, drop the four bolts. So those are 17s on the sway bar, drop the sway bar down. I already got the wires. I decided to make a video, you know, halfway through because to help people out. But you look underneath, this is where you're at. You'll need a 14 to take the belt tensioner pulley loose up there. You can take the belt off the alternator. Um, you can go ahead and start pulling the some brackets off. This bracket here on tranny lines and power steering lines. Move that with the 12. There's two bolts. You unclip it from the wiring, pull the bracket out. Um, that's right here. Pull the bracket out, move some of the wiring. Um, go back to this side, un unbolt your 10 off your power and connectors. This is the connector plug. This is where on the back side you're going to push that down, which is stiff. Slowly wiggle that off. Um, you have to pull the power steering pump. Okay, so if you question this job, these are the two bolts. Top bolts, long one, short one there. You go through the front of the pulley, um, you unplug. Right here is the plug I got right there. You unclip the plug, and then there's a bracket there that you unclip it from. You squeeze each side. Oh, you see the clip right there. Squeeze each side, pull it through. Get a pry bar or something, wiggle it out. It, it comes down and leaves you just enough room, as you see over here, I'm trying to show you. Just enough room to get to that stud and that bolt there. And that gives you a loose alternator and you're gonna pull it out the front. So, mainly, you know, it'll slide off that, there's a doll pin in the stud over there, so we'll do that. And then I don't know if I'll be able to work it through with one hand and videoing, but you have to work it through these lines past there. So, you know, not just a jerk and pull job either. So, um, just a forewarning, you know, if you have a, I think the four sevens are somewhat similar, but if you have a Tundra 07 with the 07 and up with the five, seven, um, know what you're getting into before you're like, Oh, I need an alternator. It's, it's more work than you think. Um, and plus these two bolts on the stud or the nut on the stud and this bolt, they're not easy to break loose. Um, I had this on there with about eight inches of extensions and it tweaked so much I couldn't get it. I put a three quarter inch drive on there with a 14 inch impact driver and I use a half inch impact cause I can, but you'd probably have to use a, you know, a half inch bar coming coming out past the frame here to get those bolts back there out. So just so you know, something to think about before you go ahead and do this job. But if you do want to do it, that's what you need. You need a 17 to drop your four bolts off your stabilizer. You'll need a 10, a 12, um, short and long 14s, extensions, and that's, I mean, that's about it, but have a good set of tools and be ready to spend, you know, up to three hours doing this job. If, you know, you, you're used to working on cards. If you're not, be ready to spend some time underneath this thing. Um, so, or if you do go to a mechanic, please get a quote, like a written quote first. If they tell you 300 bucks to do this job, then say, fine but I will not pay a penny more.
because what they're going to do is if they've never done one, they're going to be like, oh, well, you know, we need five, six, seven hundred bucks. And so um, this is a video to help people save money, know what you're getting into. If you, this looks like too much for you, knowing you have to pull power steering pump, work, you know, work out a vehicle underneath in, in all these small crevices and all these different tools, then, you know, start searching around for um, a decent shop and honest shop that will help you guys out. Please like and subscribe to the video. I hope this, you know, helps anyone decide whether they want to do this or not. And um, take care. Thank you.